Good day people! Right after the last video, my old laptop decided to die. So um, what you can see there is me trying to get it working, uh, but it wouldn't turn on. So I decided to order a new mainboard for the actual the 2019 model. So I wanted to try to fit that in. And in that video you will see my success or failure on that. <laughs> So you can see there, display test was still working, so it was not a display. And yeah, from there on, I decided to swap the mainboard. You will see there. Uh, let me show some key differences of the old versus the new board. So that's the keyboard connector there um, that was slightly different positioned. Like the screws for the head spreader were different. So I definitely need a new head spreader for that. Um, then one more thing was the power, uh, power plug where the power gets into the MOBO. Um, and one more thing I didn't know at that point, at recording the video, also the audio jack will be a problem. But you will see in the in the speeded up version that I had to <laughs> work around that a bit. Well, let's continue with that.
update on the XPS here. Um, I was able to um, get the head spreader for the unit, which is a slightly different one, but I could get it somewhere uh, for pretty cheap. Um, then for the fans, the left one, you probably can get away with that working, um, but the right one, like the, the shape is quite different from the new ones um, on the bottom here. And uh, that's why it's not seating very well in here. So I ordered also new fans for like 25 euros. Um, I will have to wait till they arrive. Um, then one thing that's also missing is like a little audio board that belongs here. I was also able to get that um, for kind of cheap. Um, I will also put like the parts I needed to order in the description here. So you can see which parts are needed. Um, then for the uh, battery, I didn't put it in yet uh, because the, the casing is not closing very well anyway because of that fan. So I, right now I'm just running that without the battery. But for everything else, it's working so far. So um, the unit just recognizes itself as the new model. So yeah, pretty well. Let me close up the bottom and then I will show you. <clears throat> so you can see here it's not seating there because the fan is out too much. Um, so I'm just gonna screw it a bit on the front so just that it has a cover on it. So you can already see it's booting up. Yep. One important thing at the first startup, um, the new mobile will ask you for um, the security number, so you definitely need the security number, which is the, the Dell service tag. So you definitely need a mainboard with a new service tag. So that's that's really important. Otherwise, it won't start. Um, yeah. Then further, I just use the same SSD again, and uh, just run flawlessly directly Windows from that. So I didn't need to reinstall, and it also had to install some drivers afterwards, but that was automatically done. So Looking pretty good so far. Um, you can see the new graphics cards is recognized as well as the new CPU. Um, working pretty good so far. Um, then you can see it's the same Windows, so I didn't need to reactivate it. It's still activated. Don't know what would happen if I really would reinstall that. Yeah, maybe I will see in the future. Um, yeah, then you can see it already displays all the CPUs here, so six physical cores and six virtual ones. Um, yeah, running at a rather high speed. Um, yeah, it runs way better than the old system did. I think one thing um, because of that is also that um, just this CPU generation doesn't care as much about the temperature it gets to, so it throttles. Uh, way uh, later than, than the previous generation. So at idle, it's about 40 degrees here, same as the old one. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't care as much as the, about the higher temperatures. Um, yeah, one thing to mention here is like, um, for all the parts I ordered, I paid like roughly 550 euros. 
Um, a new mainboard for the old unit would have been like 600 euros and I hope to get with all new, those new parts like the old one had four and a half years before it died so yeah probably I will be able to get another four years solid use out of that with a six core CPU new graphics card so it was really worth the money in my opinion at least so yes I might do a small update video when I receive the fans finally and the small audio board. Um, yeah, well, see you then.